Okay, so if I was going to say the phrase team over trophies, thumbs up if you know what I'm talking about. Okay, try and describe it to your friends for a second. Ready to go? Ten seconds. Okay. So let's say this is me, and how big the thing is is how strong. Okay. And whatever we're talking about, we could be talking about how smart you are, how much money you make, how pretty you are, how tall you are, how good your band is. It doesn't matter. Whatever we're talking about. If we're doing the comparison game, we circle this much, so this is who we're comparing in the thing. In this case, I am I'm first place. I win, right? Because my, my, my dot is the biggest, okay? Now, if I played better, and, and I'm hanging my hat on playing first place, right? Or replacing first. If I play better, if I play worse, it kind of doesn't matter because all I care about is that I'm the best in that area, if that's what we're hanging our hats on, right? If that's what we care about. The problem is if you get into a larger, if you get into a, into a larger um, group, if you, if you choose a larger group, eventually you're going to find somebody who's better than you. It's just how it is. There's always going to be somebody on the planet who is, richer than you or smarter than you or taller than you or, or better looking than you or their band's better or whatever, eventually you're going to find somebody. And if, if you have to be first to be happy, can any of you see how this breaks down? <laughs> I mean, it, it's really easy. It's really easy to find some, somebody else who, who's going to beat you. You just need to draw that circle bigger or bigger or bigger and, and, and okay so now he's he's better and I'm really super competitive and so all I care about is being better and so I practice a ton or my band gets better or whatever and so now I'm bigger here but if we expand it out eventually we're gonna find somebody else that has you know ten times the amount of money as we do or whatever else or, or whatever circumstances or they just worked harder or they've been doing it longer and they're gonna beat us so I think it's really important that we understand, really just at the fundamental, it's not just like, you know, dissing the plastic. Because, you know, a piece of plastic is kind of, you know, kind of meaningless. I guess you could have some symbol, symbolic meaning to it, but I don't, I don't carry a whole lot of weight. It doesn't carry a lot of weight in my mind. But the big thing is what we're talking about here is comparison. And that's where the thing breaks down. Comparison is the thief of joy. Thumbs up if you get what I mean by that. Comparison is the thief of joy. Let's say that I am comparing myself with some other trumpet player. I can list, I can give you a list of trumpet players in the state that are better trumpet players than me. It's like just straight up, better trumpet players than me. <laughs> Do you want me to give you a list right now? Uh, no, I think that's not helpful. I think that kind of is kind of the opposite of what we're talking about here right now. But I would say at the same point, um, if, if we're still pushing hard, you could make an argument that maybe I prioritize with other, like in, in some other way. Does that make sense? So um, I, I know people I could get, I mean, tons of people that, that make more money than me or whatever, you know, let, like, because a lot of people, that's one of their number one things in life. Is, is make more money. I, I'll say real quick, this is a whole other conversation, but more money does not make you happier. It, like beyond 70,000 a year, it makes like almost no impact at all on your happiness. So as long as you got food on the table and you're not worried about the next check, the happiness thing is not an issue. It's more about how you use it and how you look at it. But that aside, the comparison thing, if we're just talking about the comparison thing, the the, the comparison is the thief of joy. So it's possible that um, I'm frustrated because so-and-so makes more money than me or whatever, but it might be that I've 
prioritized other things that do give me joy. And it's hard to keep all of those things in, in, in context at the same time. So maybe I've spent more time with my wife and my kids and, and we have a more positive relationship than that, that other person who's got tons and tons of money. Does that make sense? So when we're comparing, we're just usually we're comparing a smaller sliver of, of all the different things that are happening. And so we don't get a, a big picture. And so again, it kind of comes back to this right here. Here, when we're comparing, it's a small sample versus a big sample. And so when we, com we compare, it's kind of a lie. It, it is a lie, straight up, because we don't have the full picture. And so it's false, and so that's why we shouldn't hang our hat on it. But it's the same thing when we compare on the other side of things, it's we don't have a bit the big picture. Like I'm saying, you look at the money side of things, but maybe the family life isn't as good, or whatever, whatever we're talking about. And there's some other thing maybe that, that whatever, but we just don't know. And so comparison really is on multiple layers, multiple levels, is, is a lie. And so if we hang our hats on that, we don't get anything out of it. Now, so so how, how do we find happiness? Where, where do we find happiness? I want you to think about it. Thumbs up, you got something. And I'll let you talk to your neighbor. Thumbs up when you got something. How do you personally, like, like real happiness, not just the excitement, because that's legit. You know, if you get a trophy or whatever, that is exciting. I don't pretend that I'm immune. I, I try to parse through it and think about it. Okay, talk to your neighbor, ready to go. Okay, you got 10 seconds. <laughs> okay, Hanuman, get set. I was trying to get a straight line. That's not a straight line. But imagine that this is a straight line. And imagine that this straight line is actually a path. And the path is up at the highest mountain on the planet. But this, plant, this, this, this mountain goes and goes and goes. And this path stays at the exact same altitude. Does this sound familiar to anybody yet? Okay. So the altitude in this case is your, your worth, okay? So we talked about hanging your hat on something. Do I, have, do I feel like I've got self-worth because I just won this trophy or whatever, okay? This is your self-worth. I need you to understand that this is how it works. This path, you go further down there. Here I'm a seventh grade trumpet player and I can make some notes and here I'm a ninth grader and here I'm a twelfth and here I'm a whatever, and I'm getting better and better and better as I, as I go down the path. But the value does not change. So a seventh grader doing his best versus a, a college person or a pro doing their best, it reg regardless, or even somebody who's not doing their best, even if there's somebody who's moving backwards on this path, who's, who's degrading, the value is, is totally, completely separated from our achievement, okay? If you go further down this path, that's great, that's fine that you cannot hang your hat on your value being determined, it cannot be determined by how far you've got down this path. Yeah, so if I, if I look, so I've been playing trumpet since what, 1985 or something like that? I think 1985, <laughs> it's kind of a long time. Uh, and so if I look at some seventh grader and I say, oh, that idiot, plays so crappy, I'm better than him. <laughs> Everybody on the planet would say, oh yeah, that's stupid. Why would you do that? What a loser. But honestly, we kind of do that in a smaller scope, a scope, a smaller scale. So, you know, somebody's right here and I'm right here. I can say, see, look, I beat him out. Okay, even if there's not a trophy, but like you might even just say, you might even just compare, right? And you might just, nobody's out there with a trophy and you just say, you know what, I'm better than that person. And, and so I have more value. But again, you need to remember that, that in truth, the value stays there. It's at that path on the top of the mountains, 12,000 feet, altitude, whatever, the top of the world, and it never changes, whether you're here or there. Somebody may have been on the path longer, or somebody might have been pushing a little harder, or they might have allocated time differently into other things instead of that thing, 
and that does not change their value as a person. Do you get what I'm saying? So, um, how do we get how do we get um, happiness? In my mind, I think it's the change from here to here. You look back and you see that, and you say, "Holy cow! I I did that. Look at that growth." Look how far I've come. And I think that that's legit. I think you can find value in that. And I think that's huge. And that's a healthy way to find value. The other part of it, I think, even if I, I'm not talking about it, let's say I'm, I'm right here right now and I haven't moved very far. I think the other one is the speed. Oh, I need another E. The speed at which you're moving. How hard am I pushing? How hard am I trying to grow? Does that make sense? I think you can go into, um, let's say uh, I'm, I'm exercising or whatever, and I just worked really, really hard, or I'm currently working really, really hard. I'm working out. I'm pushing as hard as I can. It's painful, but I think you actually get some feeling of satisfaction and happiness and joy by pushing really, really hard. And the, and the second you, you're done with that, you're not any stronger. The second you just practice for an hour on this music and your brain is like beat, and right now you probably play it worse than you did when you started, it will grow and you go to sleep and your brain myelinates the, the synapses and stuff like that that night. But at that moment, you haven't really grown. But the work that you, that you, that you do, the, the pushing that you make, that effort really does bring joy. And that's why people, when they go into retirement and they stop pushing, a lot of times they get depressed. It's a thing. But their whole life, they're pushing, pushing for retirement. They've saved up, and then they go live on the beach and start drinking their whatever. <laughs> Coconut and drinks or whatever. <laughs> they're sitting there, sipping, and, and there's no meaning to their life because there's no growth, or there's no pushing, and that's why it, it's a thing. Why people, when they, when they, get, when the, they uh, retire, a lot of times if they really do retire, there's a higher rate of depression. So... Delta here, the change from this point to that point, I think that, that brings joy. The speed that you're pushing, that you're pushing right now, I think that can bring joy. I think that you need to keep those things separate from your personal self-worth. I think it, as a group, we need to be really, really careful not to hang our hat on this comparison thing. I'm gonna tell you one story really quick, and then we're done, okay? So this was at a competition, marching band competition, here in Utah. And um, this band, I watched, their, I watched their show, and it was really strong. It was one of their strongest shows ever. And they did not make finals for the BOA regional thing. Uh, they were like 11th or 12th or something like that. And, and I had seen their show, and I had seen them walking off the field, and I could see they were standing tall and feeling good, and they were smiling. And I do understand that there was something they wanted, and they didn't get it. But just because of that comparison thing, all of their joy had been washed away. I was walking through there, and there were kids laying on the ground, crying and consoling each other. It felt like a battle scene, like with dead bodies on the right and the left. I was walking through and like looking at these people, just like, like, just like <laughs> ripped to shreds mentally. And and this was after they had had their best performance ever, and they were glowing when they came off the field. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. It shouldn't. I get it, but we need to try and get to the point where we where we don't get sucked into that. Does that make sense? So, anyway, uh, if you are in marching band or if this is something for the rest of your life, I hope that you can kind of grasp what I'm talking. I hope you believe me. If you are in marching band, I need you guys to try and promote this um, with your peers. We need people to to be to be positive. Okay, so I'm, I'm hoping that we don't ever get to the point. Yeah, we beat so and so. I don't ever want to hear that. Like, like holy cow, we just we just played awesome. That's that's what I like. So, yep. Let me break down on it. Just like the always getting better than people, I don't like relate it to self worth. I relate it to like bringing a new challenge. Like always having like a challenge, and like I find joy in trying to rise up to the challenge. I find joy in growing, and and if I see somebody that I want to emulate, and I catch up with that person, I find joy in that. But I don't think that that is hanging my hat on, I think we're, you're right, I think we're not talking about the same thing. Does that make sense? 
Because you can see like, man, I want to be like that person. And if I catch up with that person, I think that's a good thing. I think that's a really positive thing because it's the growth and it doesn't mean anything about tearing down the other person. And, and if you pass them up, whatever, but hopefully we can get that joy regardless of where you pass them. Oh, you're saying so that like the joy isn't there because you haven't reached it because the thing that just changes down the, down the road. Well, and that that happens regardless whether you're just looking at joy or uh, in terms of growth or if you're if you're doing it as a competition. Either way, I do think you still have to grapple with that. So because you know you reach a goal and then you have another goal and you have another goal and if you ever stop growing, I think that's kind of boring. I I think that's you know kind of pulls you down a little bit. Any other thoughts or comments? That's some good stuff right there. Okay, we can play some music now. That's all I got. Does anybody know it? Oh yeah, Skylar does. He played it yesterday. Ready, go.